Yo, what's going on everyone? Shake and Bake is back with the first Road to Playoff game online. I am paying a thousand coins. I think that's a pretty decent salary for my team. And basically what you're going to see today is just me struggling a little bit, even though this guy's got a pretty weak lineup, and just getting used to the game and some of the quirks that it has. But I want to say before we get into the gameplay, one quick thing, and I also want to give you guys a quick tip as we uh, come out of here and we go to the, the controller settings lineup. And if you haven't been doing this, you have to change this to always. I do this every time because it makes sure the guys put a hand up, even if you're doing it, and they do it no matter what. So even if you forget to maybe hit the right stick or something like that, or you're out of position, generally they put a hand up no matter what. So make sure you do that. That's my quick tip, I guess, of the day. As we are running plays, yes, you will see that we are running plays, but I, I will talk about that in a second. But first... I want to really quickly thank you guys for all the support yesterday in day one. I put out a lot of videos. I'm going to put out six or seven. My team just basically pack openings. We did uh, a lot. We did a couple of the gameplay videos, but nothing really too extreme. But today we have our first full 10-minute gameplay. I like this. And uh, I want to say this one thing as I'm trying to get through it. As we're cutting through this guy trying to take charges. If you guys want to see lots and lots of videos, here will be the way. When I put out a video, if you guys can get it to a thousand likes before I'm ready to upload my next video, it'll go up right then. So say this video goes up, and hey man, within 10 minutes, it's got a thousand likes. That next video will be up right then. I will be like, alright, I'm going to I'm going to upload this video. Obviously, you gotta give me some time to upload it, because sometimes YouTube is a little shaky and stuff like that. But, I promise you, I will do my best to get it up as soon as possible. And if it doesn't get a thousand likes, hey... No biggie. I'll just upload it when I'm ready to. It might be an hour from now. It might be tonight. It might be then. So it depends. So if you guys want to make sure you can see the most content from me in NBA 2K14 on every day, be sure to leave that like button. Just just take your mouse and just stab the like button. Just keep clicking it. But No, don't keep clicking. I think you can only click it once. But uh, that's just that. I wanted to say that because the support yesterday was awesome. I made so many videos, and you guys watched every single one of them. And if you haven't, you can check the playlist. Obviously, it'll be in the description. That's where everything good is. And uh, now let's get into the gameplay. Let's get off the boring stuff as we go skying with Air Iggy. Air Iggy has left the station. I love Andre Iguodala, man. I, I, I seriously think he might be one of my favorite players in this game right now besides Russell Westbrook as he gets that steal right there. And that's something I want to talk about real quick because... I want to know how you guys feel about this. Do you like how the stealing is better than last year? It seems like it's back to how it was the very beginning of last year. At the like the very beginning when the first the game first came out. Before they patched it. Because when they patched it, they made it so. If you were to just tap that X button every single time. It's automatically a foul. Whenever you touch that X button, it's a foul. You, you very rarely got actual steals like that. Unless maybe someone was in a post and they were going for a post move. But now... You can tap that button a lot, but I think it's a fair amount because you can't just tap it away at every second. But if you tap it when uh, when maybe someone's driving or it seems like they're struggling right there, right there I tap the ball. Instead, we got a kick violation, which is kind of nice because it slops. It's <laughs> not slop. It stops the play. And again, right there, you'll see another steal. So, I mean, we're getting defense and we're getting steals like crazy as we finally take a lead on this guy. Man, it, as I said in another video... It takes me a little bit of time to figure out my opponent and pretty much what they want to do. This guy, I kind of knew what he wanted to do. He wanted to drive by me with his point guard and get to the rim. And he also wanted to try and get threes. That was pretty much his deal. And uh, he was actually pretty good at getting to the rim because of how bad my on-ball defense is. As we just get a hand up, but it don't do nothing. So with five seconds left, can Westbrook get me that buzzer beater? Come on. Three, two, one. Oh, it just rolls out, but yeah, I like that too. That's another thing I want to talk about. How contact layups, they miss a lot, but they also go in as well. It's not like one or the other. It's, they do miss a good amount of time, but you can make them. I mean, I, that's how it is with uh, the post defense as well. And even though it's really hard to stay on ball, it seems like right there, I thought I had him locked up and he just slid right by me. Man, that is the frustrating part that I was talking about when I made my video yesterday on on-ball defense and uh, spacing. But hey, the spacing right there, it worked out. 
that Iggy was just sitting in the corner. He didn't cut in. He didn't try to do something crazy. Again, right here, Iggy's sitting in the corner. This time, though, yikes. Woo-hoo! That is a dunk right there, man. And, yo, the dunk competition right now that we're running, it ain't over. It's Russell Westbrook's turn, and woo! I love those reverse jams. The reverse jams are stunting. Oh, my goodness, they're crazy. But this guy, look at he just gets right by me, and he ends up trying to take a three. And this is exactly what I was talking about yesterday with the spacing. That guy was so far behind the arc that as soon as he caught it, he had space. But he couldn't take the three because he was way too far back. And he ended up having to try and pass out of it. And it just didn't turn over well for him. <laughs> as he gets the turnover. <laughs> no pun. Not, not really intended for that pun. Don't worry. My jokes are bad. I know. I've been working all day on this kind of stuff. I've made, I think, four videos today. And I'm ready to let them fly, as Chris Smooth would say. You gotta pay homage to Chris Smooth right there. But uh, I, I don't know. Is he uploading my two videos? I haven't even seen. I haven't watched many uh, YouTubers at all. I mean... I've literally been so busy working and playing this game, I haven't gotten to see if other YouTubers have been making videos and who's been doing what. So let me know in the comments who's been making what, I guess. Is Chris Smooth still doing my team or is he going to wait for a while? Which, uh, that brings up another thing that I, I think is kind of interesting about my team. Now, is this going to be a race to the finish line over this next month? Am I going to try and get to that first seed and see who those prizes are? Because we don't, they're not Jordan and Larry Bird, I don't think, because you can get them out of packs now. So I'm wondering, am I going to try and race to get to the top final seed before uh, next gen comes out? Or should I draw this out? I think I'm going to try and race to get there, man. Because that way I can upload tons of videos every day. Tons of gameplays. Tons of Igu Dala dunks inside. And man, I, I think that'll work out. So that's probably what I'm going to be doing. Because I am going to be getting next gen when it comes out on release day. So... I don't really think I want to take my time with my team this year like I kind of did last year. I really didn't try too hard in the road to playoffs mode as Air Iggy. No! Russell Westbrook! There is Vintage Oop Opus in the building right there as we get a nice alley-oop. And uh, I, I was going to try again to get to the rim here. But instead, hey, pull up for the nice J. Russell Westbrook, do the money dance right now. He, he's not doing it, but later tonight he definitely gets to. And I will be showing you guys what the money dance is. A couple people don't know what it is be seeing that in a future face cam video i know you guys are excited for that and right there man again russell westbrook is killing the threes look at this dude 13 of 18 5 of 6 from beyond the arc man <laughs> his rating is only a 77 from beyond the arc so I, I this difficulty it must be low it must be on like pro or all-star because there is no way it is superstar sim there it, it is no chance if it was, I would be baffled because there's no way Russell Westbrook should be just knocking down every three, even though a majority of them have been open besides, I think, one of them. But you'll see again, we're playing defense. We get that steal, which leads to an easy leak out break. Bucket with Eddie Jones. And uh, this one was pretty much over with four minutes left. We're up 14, and uh, I'm pretty much just trying to coast to victory. He's trying to get to the rim, but Brandon Bass, BB is too strong. We get the block, but... Nobody gets that rebound. The intelligence of our players and AI, I thought they were going to maybe go for it. Instead, they just, they were like, nah, we chilling. We're good. But I'm just point, I'm just messing around right now. And this guy, you'll see, he's trying to take charge and stuff like that. The first game was a nice victory. I was a little rusty in the beginning, and I got a little frustrated here. But this pretty much confirmed that there is no way it is on Superstar Sim. Rashard Lewis, he just bangs this away right in my eye. I'm right there, so I, I really do not think that's what this is. I'm guessing it's on All-Star. Maybe it's on Pro. I hope not. But hopefully, as we move throughout the seeds, the difficulty will increase. Still running plays, even though Iguodala was wide open the entire time. There was nobody on him. So uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this first gameplay, man. I really do. I will be bringing some live commentaries as well with some of these. But I want to play some better opponents before I do that, man, because... You don't want to hear me beating on this guy. I mean, he's got a bronze lineup. I mean, I, I, it, I, it's not impressive. And I, I, to be honest, I'm not really that great at this game. Don't I don't try and sound like I am. I'm just out trying to have fun and entertain you guys. That's what I'm all about. I've always been about that. And trust me, I, I've struggled with this game. Even though I haven't lost much, I've struggled. And uh, this is something also that I think is kind of funny. He blocks it with the little, little tiny point guard. I think that might be John Lucas, who's like 5'9". But instead, oh, oh, pause for Iggy. 
They got a cut for Bieber. We got pause for Iggy. <laughs> That's too crazy right there as we uh, end the game. But, man, point guards be getting some crazy blocks. It doesn't matter how tall they are. They be jumping and getting five, six blocks a game. We did end up pretty much just finishing that game off very easily. And I will be uploading, as I said, live comms once I start getting into better teams. I'm surprised. I haven't run into too many all-gold squads. I'm only running four right now. I'm probably going to run three golds in the next few videos. So stay tuned for that. And hopefully we can get some better opponents with some more competitive games. But for now, I'll take the first win of Road to Playoffs. And uh, we're I think we're trying to get to that eighth seed, correct? That's what we're trying to get now. But I hope you guys enjoyed. And as I said before... Get this to 1,000 likes. That next video is popping out. We got good stuff coming tonight. Really good videos. Peace out.